in this session uh, let us consider the behavior of conductors in uh, static electric fields okay so how the conductors will, will behave in a when it is placed in a static electric field so this we will discuss in this section in this session okay first of all we have to know that conductors has large number of free charges okay so that means uh, these charges are free to move but uh, we also know that it is the free charges in a conductor are nothing but the electrons okay now let us consider a conductor okay and uh, so this is a conductor and let us apply an electric field that is a static electric field is applied to this conductor so this electric field we'll call it as ea okay now what happens here in the inside the conductor is because of this uh, applied electric field here the charges uh, will start moving okay so uh, since uh, we have uh, the free charges in case of conductors are electrons that is negative charges this negative charges will move uh, in the direction opposite to that of the applied electric field so therefore these charges uh, will move okay let's say we have a charge here and this charge will move and uh, it will be it will settle uh, on the surface of the conductor okay so similarly we have this uh, electrons they move in the direction opposite to that of the applied electric field and uh, uh, they form a, a layer of uh, negative charge on this surface so when the electron moves from this uh, location okay so a positive charge is created so therefore uh, here this positive charge will settle on the this surface of the conductor so net result is that uh, there is a uh, movement of uh, i mean uh, there is a as soon as an electric field is applied the uh, uh, the negative charges will move to a, uh, will move in a direction opposite to the opposite to that of the uh, electric field applied electric field and uh, uh, it means that it will result in the movement of the positive charges okay but uh, please remember that there are no uh, freely moving positive charges so whenever uh, in a in a uh, lattice structure okay so if an electron is removed it results in uh, creation of a positive charge okay so therefore this will result in a positive charge uh, on the uh, this surface of the uh, conductor okay so uh, this uh, movement of the charges will take place till uh the electric field established by the induced charges okay so here these charges are known as the induced charges okay this is a negative charge and this is the positive charge okay which are which are induced on the uh, surface of the conductor and this uh, uh, induced charges they set up an electric field inside the conductor so this electric field we will call it as ei so the movement of the charges will take place till the condition is satisfied that is the applied electric field is equal and opposite to that of the induced electric field so once uh, uh, that happens the equilibrium condition is established so under electrostatic equilibrium condition we have a layer of negative charges and layer of positive charges 
and uh, we have the applied electric field which is as shown here but outside the conductor but inside the conductor okay so inside the conductor the electric field applied electric field is equal and opposite to that of the individual electric field so therefore the resultant electric field let us call this as er is equal to zero inside the conductor so uh, here you can say that this electric field inside the conductor is equal to zero and also there is no net charge density okay so net charge density inside the conductor is also equal to zero okay. so we can conclude that a perfect conductor cannot contain an electrostatic field within it so a perfect conductor So when you say perfect conductor, the conductivity is infinite. Okay, cannot contain contain an electrostatic field within it so therefore we know that since uh, there is no electric field uh, inside the conductor the work done in uh, moving a charge uh, from one point to another point uh, or rather we can say that the potential difference between any two points inside the conductor is in a conductor is zero or in other words we can say that the conductor is okay are it's at uh, uh, equal potential under static conditions the potential difference between any two points in the conductor is zero okay so that is uh, when the, when a, st a static equilibrium condition is reached so uh, we can say that uh, we can conclude that the electric field inside a conductor is zero and uh, rho v is equal to zero so net charge density okay net charge density inside is zero and also the potential difference between any two points inside a conductor is equal to zero so these conditions will hold good inside a conductor okay under static electric fields okay when electrostatic equilibrium is uh, uh, is established okay so in the beginning okay when the charges are moving uh, uh, from uh, one power from here to this side there will be uh, uh, I mean, uh, the net charge density is this condition may not be valid but uh, once the equilibrium, equilibrium condition is established then uh, this uh, conditions will hold good okay so also uh, by the same reasoning uh, suppose uh, if a charge is uh, introduced okay by some method a charge is introduced let us say some charge delta q is introduced in the conductor okay okay so this will result in 
the movement of the charges uh, in such a way that the charges uh, are rather i'll take a uh, i'll take a spherical conductor and let us say okay it's a and uh, let us introduce a charge uh, delta q here then what happens is this charge uh, will uh, de, uh, will uh, uh, will move in such a way that um, once the equilibrium condition is reached the net charge density inside the conductor is zero so we'll have only charge on the surface of the conductor okay so once the equilibrium condition is established so this is in the beginning okay and uh, this uh, this will this uh, this, uh, this uh, when you introduce uh, the charge here this will result in uh, uh, setting up of the electric field and because of this electric field uh, the movement of the charges will take place and uh, because of this movement of the charges uh, finally a, a equilibrium condition is established in such a way that you have a layer of uh, uh, charge okay this entire charge delta q will be uh, forming a layer of uh, surface okay a surface charge uh, surface uh, layer on this uh, conductor okay and inside the conductor uh, this condition will hold good that is rho v is equal to 0 okay that is once the uh, so rho v is equal to 0 and e is equal to 0 and also v a b is also equal to 0 inside the conductor okay once electrostatic equi equilibrium is reached okay so with this we will end this session